Welcome back to the Sean McDermott Show, and it's time now to break down the film in another edition of Chopping Wood with our good friend Eric Wood. A, the Bills got off to a slow start offensively, but the defense got them their first touchdown, and then the offense got rolling in the second half. What were the biggest difference makers for the Bills against the Steelers? Well, I'll say early on in the game, when you're facing the best defense in the NFL, the offense is going to need a little time to get some traction. Well, the defense provided a bunch of stops in the first half, and they also provided a touchdown, which in a half that you only score three points as an offense, it's great to go into the half with a lead. Yeah, well, let's start with this pick six by Taron Johnson before the half. Yeah, Taron Johnson does a great job here. He keeps his eyes on Ben the whole way. A bunch set, which is what the Steelers had to start this play, is a tough formation for defensive backs to always diagnose. There's a lot of moving parts in front of him. He does a great job of jumping the route, catching the football, which both sets of receivers early in the game had trouble doing, and then he takes it to the house. Later on, we got a glimpse of Stephon Diggs in this first half. He's caught a slant on a third and three. Then he bounced off a big hit from Minka Fitzpatrick for a 23-yard gain. The Bills desperately needed a first down at this point of the game. They were already down seven. They couldn't give the Steelers defense the ball right back. And Stephon Diggs is the guy you got to go to in this situation. You know, he's he's got two guys in that area. He bounces off. Minka Fitzpatrick gets another 20 plus yards on the ground himself and throughout the night Stephon Diggs was too much for the Steelers to handle. You know, the Bills got it together over halftime and they came out firing in the third quarter. Josh connected with Diggs four times on the first drive after half and the fourth one went for this 19 yard touchdown. Twice on this drive Stephon Diggs made cornerbacks fall and the, the moisture in Orchard Park uh, might have lent some of that to it but he was also running incredible routes. Once the DB falls here, Stephon Diggs sees the opening of the defense, splits the safeties, and does a great job of capping off this drive for a touchdown. Yeah, so the defense forces a three and out, and then Josh and Diggs go right back to work on the next drive. This one goes for 22 yards on a first and 10. Yeah, the Steelers were out their three linebackers heading into this game. So the middle of the field is an area they wanted to attack. But in order to attack that area with your receivers, you got to have protection. The protection wasn't always there in the first half. Well, here it was. They run a play action. And as Moss sat in front of the linebacker, they created a huge opening for Diggs right behind him. Yeah, and then on the very next play, Josh came back to Diggs again. And this one went for 19 yards as well. Yeah, this, this route concept, this is extremely tough for a defensive back. And this is basically Josh and Diggs just understanding and having trust that Diggs is going to sit in an open zone. He, he makes a couple different moves trying to sell that he's going to run an over route all the way across the field. And that's what the safety thought. And as the linebacker broke when Josh went to release, he thought the exact same thing. And sure enough, Diggs is sitting behind him on the play. As well then in the fourth quarter, the Steelers looked poised for maybe a comeback. And then Levi Wallace comes up with the enormous interception. Levi Wallace was beat earlier in the game by Washington for a touchdown. And he does a great job of staying with this play and then making an incredible play on the ball in the air. Would have liked to seen him put a little bit better effort in on the return. Uh, and I, I'm mainly kidding there. But he does a great job of making a play on the ball. And if, if they're going to get cornerback play like this across from Tredavious White for the remainder of the season, then the Bills defense is going to be in great shape. It was great to see the Bills get a statement win. And Eric, thanks for doing this with us. Thanks for chopping wood again this week. For sure. Thanks, Steve.